On American Farmer, we've often discussed the issue at hand regarding the need to double food production by 2050 in order to keep up with and feed our growing global population. With demands as high as these, innovating the industry is the only way to get ahead. We have an incredibly advanced agricultural system, but scientific innovation is always needed to address future challenges, whether they be global climate change or a burgeoning population. For example, GPS and imaging technologies allow farmers to manage their fields almost inch by inch by data that is provided to their computers or their equipment. Irrigation technologies that allow farmers to place water only where needed in a field or incredible and amazing refrigeration, transportation, and packaging technologies that allow us to provide for safe and fresh food. The new and burgeoning field of plant phenomics will play an essential role in producing the crops we need to feed the world. Phenomics is really about the relationship between the environment and a plant's traits, such as how a plant looks or how a plant functions. For instance, I have dark hair and a dark complexion, and these are some of my traits. A plant can have green leaves, it can have a deep root system, and some plants can have pretty flowers. These are plant traits. Now we know that the environment is changing and that crops and plants are going to have to adapt to different environments, meaning that the crops that we have in the future are going to be different than the crops that we have today. And it's the traits that will allow a plant to adapt to these different environments. So understanding the genes that give rise to specific traits is going to be really important in producing the crops that we need in the future. And this is phenomics. Advances in this field will revolutionize our ability to breed crops that are more resilient and adaptable to changing climate and weather conditions while providing more nutritional benefits and increased yields. So the goal of plant breeding is to develop superior varieties or hybrids. The plant breeder is trying to identify new genotypes that perform better in target environments where the farmers will grow those crops. Traditionally, what they've done is they develop new genetic varieties and then they test them in multiple environments. This is an expensive and time-consuming process. So what the industry is trying to do now is move to a predictive model where we can predict based on the genotype or genetic blueprint of a plant and the known characteristics of the environment how the plant is going to grow and develop. We'll be able to predict its yield or any other trait that we care about. In order to measure the phenotypes of plants in the field, we need to develop new robots, new sensors, new computational tools for studying these traits. And the only way we can do that is if we build large-scale collaborations that involve both plant scientists as well as engineers to build the robots and the sensors and computational scientists to help us extract, analyze, and interpret the vast amounts of data that come off of these sensors and robots. In 2014, FAR was established as part of the Agricultural Act, known as the Farm Bill, to increase investment in innovative partnerships and cutting edge research and development. The Foundation for Food and Agriculture Research is an entity created by an act of Congress that provided the funding to set up this entity, a private entity, that will try to accelerate research in food and agriculture and to engage in public-private sector partnerships and to really spearhead innovation in agriculture. Among the things that FAR is doing is to encourage a whole new generation of agriculturalists, young agriculturalists, through our Innovators Program, which hopefully will develop uh, individuals that have an interest in food and agriculture policy and through our help can increase and augment the numbers of people working on innovative projects. And those projects might be in the water area, they might be in plant sustainability area, they might be in health and nutrition. Whatever it is, we need more human beings in this field in order to move the ball forward as it relates to the future of food and agriculture. So we hope that we can actually change the world with this foundation. FAR is dedicated to supporting innovative food and agriculture research, fostering collaboration, and advancing the mission of the U.S. Department of Agriculture the mission of USDA has three major parts to it. Uh, the first is assuring the security of the food supply for the nation. The second is conserving our natural resources. And the third part of the mission is economic development with a big emphasis on rural America. And undergirding all of that is science-based innovation. 
innovation to assure food security, new ideas, new ways of preserving those natural resources, and innovation to build new businesses in rural America. FAR, the Foundation for Food and Agriculture Research, is helping USDA in two very specific ways. The foundation is more nimble, more quick, and can help with emergency response where we need to bring in the talent in the universities to help solve a problem. And the foundation is also, through its convening authority, able to bring together people in the private sector with the public sector to form new partnerships. So public-private partnerships is another important role for the foundation and very complementary to what USDA does. At FAR, we're firm believers that we accomplish more together in a partnership than we can alone. So our idea here is to accelerate scientific progress by bringing companies and other organizations together where we can look for the traits that are important for crops in the future that will be resilient to global climate change. We are facilitating partnerships that would otherwise not happen. These type of collaborations where we work in the pre-competitive space, meaning that everyone who participates benefits, are really the wave of the future. And we will continue to bring companies and other organizations together to accelerate science and have science have an impact on our agricultural systems. In an area that is often siloed, FAR is here to work towards collaboration for the greater good. For more information, visit www foundationfar.org